make a video because uh, after like posting that video about the parking situation, there was a lot of like, you know, people on both sides and um, and I, the whole point is to like educate people on what's really happening and we get it that like, obviously it would be great if people didn't park in those spots because we do need them. And then Danny has some good points too about how, you know, we don't always need them and maybe we could also give them up so that someone who really needs it to get their door open down, you know, like a ramp, like I can get my wheelchair out of the back of my car. So things like that. Um, and I need to be better about that myself because it is hard to like resist that parking spot when, <laughs> but it's true. There are people who need them more. And then in certain situations like this one, I did need it because my friend's giving me a piggyback ride down to the cove and that's already you know hard enough for me to ask someone to do that and to then need him to maybe go back to the car and get something and then come back down and it's just there's a lot that goes into planning to just go out each day and do different things um so i'm going to play the video and then i'm going to tell you what the guy says because some people weren't able to hear it and then had their like opinions and stuff and i want to explain where i was coming from and then these guys all have stories too, and I just think it's cool to share them. So here, I'm gonna play the video. I have a plan for, so how are you gonna do this? Um, how would you like to get to the cove? Well, and I can take you back card if you want. Mm -hmm. you want and then how you are you gonna do all this stuff? Uh, so I'm like sitting there, I asking my neighbor, you know, how he's going to be able to do this, feeling bad that I can't help. Like that's already weighing on me. And, and we had already had one lady pull up behind us. She was like in the passenger seat. She was older and I didn't hear what she said to my neighbor. And this was the first time my neighbor's gone out with me. And she, I was like, I went, you know, then she pulled over to the side, parked on the lines, which is usually when someone's irritated and like making a judgment, they park right there and act like, you know, they need that spot and you're in it, so they're gonna sit here. And so I was like, did she just say something about the parking? And he's like, I don't know, um, do you, should I move the car? And I was like, no, Chris, like, I need this spot. Like, this is okay to park here. And then, and then someone drives by and they're like, real disabled, man. And then he was just getting hit, like, left and right. And he's like, oh my God. And, uh, and then I was sitting there and then this guy comes up and what he's, started off by saying before he had even seen the situation my my neighbor was getting stuff out of the back I was sitting on the ground and he said who so who here is so handicapped they can't walk and then I said me thank you and then oh and then he said oh but you can dive and I'm like yes uh can you do things and that right there oh but you can dive like yes we can do things and that's extremely rude which is what I told him so, hey, thank you. Really? Yeah. Oh, I sure can. Can you do things? That's and it. then, and then he said, amazing, really? amazing. Yeah. And it was extremely rude. And yeah, that's, that's, so I mean, then he goes on to say that he's advocate, you know, he's trying to advocate for us. And, and that's not advocating for us because first of all, you think that we can't even do anything. So you know nothing about us. And you're attacking me and that's not helping me. And then on top of that, he just tries to tell me how the situation is and how this happens and people do this to people with disabilities while he's talking to me, who experiences it every day and you just did it to me. Like, so I appreciate that he's looking out for the spot, but you need to, that's what we're gonna talk about is like, how you can go about that better and also tell you all of our experiences and how much they affect us or, you know, how we've learned to just like blow it off. But then it, you know, it comes down to some people wanted to tell this guy to just, you know, F off. And like, that's not gonna help anything when we go back at it with like anger and cut them off. And then no one's ever learning anything. So there's gotta be like changes. And I'm not gonna play the rest of the video, but that's what he said and why I took it that way. And that wasn't okay. So who wants to tell their first experience about being judged like that? Like you were talking about the gas station thing. Oh yeah, well, it's it just uh, when you go park somewhere, like I've had an experience where I go park somewhere and like all the handicaps full and then um, and then there's one without a placard and you're kind of, you kind of park far 
and then you and then you when you're gonna go in the store the guy kind of sees you and and you kind of tell him hey dude what's going on you don't have a placard you know and he goes oh i'm sorry i was just in a park for a minute yeah it's like the hell with your minute you know what i mean yeah. because you decided to just to go in the store and grab a water and come out but mm -hmm. like i'm i'm the rest of my day kind of be messed up because I can't, can't park there no more because you decided to get there for a minute. Yeah. That minute price can mess up my day, you know what I mean? And it depends how you take it. If you're in a wheelchair, you might take it like, it can oh. mess up your day. And to me, it messed up like maybe five minutes. I was just like, what the hell, you know? Mm -hmm. But besides that, I mean, just one minute that, and that's all, all the time. Oh, I'm just there for a minute. And, and then you know. looking for parking, like you have to get your wheelchair outside of your car. So yeah. you had to go even further maybe to find a spot that you were able to do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 The, the other situation you're talking about was pumping gas. Remember, I was talking about I, I had my girlfriend pump gas for me, and then I, you know, it's because why? Because it's it's easier, it's faster, yeah. whatever. You know, because what I mean? if you did it, what would you have to do? Yeah, well, I have to get to my wheelchair down, you, put my wheelchair you put together, your wheelchair over the side of you. Yeah, put my wheelchair together, transfer. So it's like one wheel over the other wheel, then the whole frame, and then put it together, transfer into yeah. it, go pump the gas, and do all of that to get it back in. And. And when uh, when that happened, I I you know always so he has his girlfriend do it instead. Yeah, like, that makes sense. I, and, I'll, 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 and, I always, and I always do that, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and or I could be tired, you know, and I'll be mm -hmm. like, hey, babe, you know, go. Your shoulders might be hurting. Yeah, like something. And and I, I there was a, there been a couple of them, but one one time I you know as um as she's putting gas or she's inside putting gas, I've had a a guy got old man come up to me and he told me, hey, you know, uh, you 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 must feel like a man, and I'm like what you know i have my window down you know i'm inside the car mm -hmm. and i keep in mind i look normal you know i don't look like i'm disabled you know but what you know, does disabled yeah. even look like yeah yeah but you know you know the car it doesn't look like yeah. it, you know you don't you can't yeah, see your legs so. you yeah, can't tell sure. so he's like oh you must feel like a man and i'm like what does he mean by that you know and i'm like and i didn't say nothing i just kept quiet oh oh if you feel like a man having your girlfriend pump gas for you you know what the hell what's wrong with you da, 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 da. and i just ignored him and i'm like you know i'm not gonna tell him nothing i'm just gonna close my window i don't feel like dealing with this guy you know mm -hmm. so i close my window and when i close my window he comes up to me and you know knocks on it and i'm like oh this guy yeah. and, then, and then when he's knocking he's talking crap and going hey man uh um uh, uh that's not cool you know da, 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 da. i'm like what are, I'm, oh my god so i'm like i'm gonna put my window down because he was you know and then i when i put my window down and i told him i was like look sir i'm in a wheelchair I'm a paraplegic. I, I I've had an accident, and it's way easier and faster if she goes and puts gas mm -hmm. in me. And then he didn't know where to stick his face. He was like, "He just walk uh, off." No, he's all. He just done like in reverse. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so <laughs> sorry. And I just didn't say nothing. I didn't even say nothing. I just put my window back up, mm -hmm. and he felt bad. But yeah. I mean, I I didn't want to tell him that. I didn't want to, you know, deal with it. Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, I, when he when he came up to me, I, it was kind of good that I told him. Yeah. Like maybe he would have done it to somebody else, mm -hmm. you know? And he never knew the situation. Yeah. He could have came and asked and been like, hey, man, why do you have a girl, you know? And then I would think to him. And also, though, like, that especially is none of anyone's business. He's literally, why does he care if you have your girlfriend pumped your gas or not? Yeah. He that has nothing to do with a parking spot. Nothing, nothing to do. Nothing. Nothing to do with But other than just freaking being rude to someone. Yeah. And, 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 I'm, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm telling myself, I ask myself, like, Hell, like why would he go to the extent to go knock my window yeah like, like he, he could have just the first time he could have just been like okay yeah. there's something going on there whatever but then he comes in like like mm -hmm. what the hell dude like come on oh yeah you know like get in your space and, and, and when i did that he probably it. thought like oh what an ass you know what i mean like you know when i put my window he's probably like oh what an ass. now i'm really gonna go over there and knock you know knock his window yeah mm -hmm. and I, I was just trying to ignore him and to avoid a confrontation yeah. you know whatever because it's you know? exhausting always trying to explain things to people when it's yeah some of it is none like the parking spot i would be more than welcome if they were like hey you know i'm just looking out for these spots i just want to make sure because i care that these are open then i would say yeah i i have a disability thanks for asking you know and yeah. i appreciate it but you don't come at me the way he did. Yeah, in but, the way that this yeah, guy like, was like I would prefer him to come and ask me and be like, "Hey, is it Ron Chupo? Well, you have to go pump gas." And I explained to him, and I'm like, "A quick explain." Okay, cool. But no, he's just like. And then when he was at telling me, it wasn't like he was asking me, "Hey, it must be nice, huh? Why are you there like that? Like that mm -hmm. tone of voice?" And yeah. I'm like, "Whatever, you know." Yeah, I'm like, like amazing, amazing. Yeah. And that that like it, that reminds me also of the fact that these are these people. I'm sure won't do it again because. When I was, like, one year after my injury, I was at community college, and I, you know, was in a wheelchair, and it was bugging me when people were parking in those spots, and it was making me just angry, and I saw this guy, and this was the most judgmental thing, but I was 19 and naive and 
whatever. This guy was overweight and I was like, oh wow, you're overweight, so you park in the disabled spot, you know, and I had I said it all in my head. And it was so judgy. And then in my math class, I ended up talking to him and getting to know him. And he has a heart problem and he's on a medication and he can't, he gets heart rate up. He can't work out and he can't walk long distances. And I was just so thankful that I had never said anything out loud because that was the most judgmental thing I could have ever thought. And like these lessons, I mean, we all like judge. And but why are we taking things out on people before we learn about them? So, yeah, good point. Yeah, and yeah, what other story do you have? Uh, well, when I was younger, like in college, and I first got injured, like I was like about like nineteen twenty, and I would like uh, pull up to hand, uh, like handicap spots, and and um, I'd be playing loud music, just kind of enjoying myself, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'd pull up, and uh, like older people would look at me, like they were just looking at me, like kind of like what you said, like parking next to that like mm -hmm. line that's kind of waiting for you to get out mm -hmm. and like just like staring at you kind of mean bugging you like I, they can't believe you're gonna park there you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's because i you know look young looking and like you said like what does disabled look like you know some mm -hmm. people have an image in their head or you know what they think society should think somebody you know, yeah. should look like and you know like i always like if they didn't see the chair they're always like oh you know you're healthy you look young you're good like why are you parking there mm -hmm. so a lot of times i would kind of kind of antagonize those people because they're just looking and judging before they even knew and um so i would take my i would like play the music louder and just wait for it <laughs> wait for them to stay yeah and, right. and then like and then I'd open my door and they're just sitting there waiting for me to walk out and then this last second I just pull my chair out and start putting it together and then they're like, All right, I'm about to go about my day, like I exactly. you know, like so you know, they just kinda just judge a book by its cover kind of thing and, yeah. and, and you know, kinda overstep their boundaries. It's cool, like you said, like for people looking out, but even with us we have to be careful because like you could see somebody and they might like working with the military before I worked with the military, like I didn't know that people had prosthetics and you know, people walk really good with these mm -hmm. prosthetics. So you can't, if they're not limping or anything, like mm -hmm. you don't know, or like you can, like you said, somebody might have a condition. So yeah. it's kind of like- And they can get pressure sores. Like there's <laughs> so much, I used to think amputees were like, they're set, like, yeah. you know, cut my legs off and give me prosthetics. But no, there's also, they get sores, they get like, they struggle all the time with different issues. And you just exactly. don't know. I, I think like they should have like levels of parking. Cause now that That's I see like they have too. levels of parking for like people that are like, uh, that are pregnant, you know what I mean? Like. Uh, now that I see that, like, for that's cool because pregnant women can't walk far. That, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Also, older people, too, like, they can't walk that far, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They might but they don't walker. necessarily need <laughs> all the lines you that know. take up more space. So exactly. you can have more. And I even told somebody, like, it's not about being close for me because I, I can push, you know, I have the energy to push. I just need the extra space to get out. So like uh, I think Walmart has a, like a really big space. Like oh, yeah. so, if I see those big spaces, yeah. I'll just park in a normal spot and not worry. And yeah. I see all these people that are like maybe look like they're, they're, I see no nobody in a wheelchair in the store, but all the handicapped spots are. So I'm like, all right, half of those people are are or maybe a percentage of those people are maybe abusing the privileges of of, of having that placard or something that you yeah. like she said. Like she said, but like you say, you can't know, but. For me, I always make that joke, like, I better see at least three wheelchairs yeah, in the wall right now. Because all the, yeah, all the spots. Yeah. And it's hard, too, here, because a lot of... But veterans, it doesn't this, have to be wheelchairs. This though. is a veteran town, too, so a lot of veterans, like, like you know, like, they might have a invisible uh, disability, which is, like, mm -hmm. you know, it might be, like, they hurt their back, and you can't mm -hmm. tell. Yeah. Or, you know, maybe uh, some cognitive, like, you can't Mentally. tell, you know, so... Just, Even inflammation, like if it flares up, walking is extremely hard and just getting out of the house is hard enough and then you can't even park and then you might end up just going home and curling up and isolating more. Yeah. Like, it doesn't help the situations. Yeah, and I think like they should try to like teach like these kind of things in school. Cause mm -hmm. like, like it should be like a, a common thing that people know, but like maybe this video just educating people like, all right, cool. like. This is why they need it, you know, mm -hmm. or this is why. Even me, like, like I said, when there's spots and I see the van, there's only like two van spots. Like, what if somebody comes with a van? Like, I can get my car out. Or even today, we parked in the spot that weren't handicapped. And oh, you yeah, could park in two. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't know when you park in two, they think you're a jerk mm -hmm. and taking up two spots. Yes. But yeah. if you take a, if you see a handicapped biker and they're in two spots, that means that all the parking was taken and they can't get point. out. 
And so today I did that, but I didn't want to be a jerk and take up all the spot. So I kind of left half and somebody parked next to me. So yeah. what I did is I asked somebody that was like passing by, like they were in their car. I was like, hey, can you give me a hand? Pull my car back. Yeah. And then I got in. A lady helped transfer. Yeah. So, but like, you know, that's another thing that's like, should be like an unwritten rule that people know about or like because you had to like go find some random person to have them get or in like, your car and not like even pull in school back for the you. driver's ed driver's ed oh for sure Just put that's in a the good driver's point. Ed book. oh yeah that's a really good everybody gotta read it right everybody yeah learn it, so. mm -hmm. yeah or bring someone in every class like have someone with a disability come in and maybe yeah. there's like some protocol that we can learn and go out and do it yeah cool See, we're finding solutions yeah i mean too. that i think that's the answer <laughs> see like yeah, did you hear one right now when he said take off two spots yeah. But then again, even if you put your placard, one time I took two spots up at a, you, up in Orange yeah. County. No, I got a ticket. Oh, okay. With my placard up. Yeah. And I took two, literally right in the middle. So of it needs to be a thing. It yeah. needs yeah, to I, be I, a thing. Yeah, I put it around because it was full. The whole, there was like 20 of them. They're all full. Mm -hmm. So I parked in a regular spot and I took two spots for the same reason because somebody's going to come next to me, right? Yeah. And I parked in the middle and I got a ticket. And I, I tried to fight it and I told him why I needed yeah. that spot. And I fought it in a big old paragraph uh -huh. to fight it. No, hell no. Money order for 60 bucks. <laughs> Dang, they didn't. No, they didn't. See, and that's not and right. Now, now yeah, I freak out when, I, when he parked like that. I'm like, dude, you can get a ticket like that. Like, he's like, no, no. And he's like, I got my placard. And I'm right. like, oh. So when I park like that, I, I, I'm all scared when I park like that. I'm scared of getting a ticket. Yeah. You it sucks. Should. Yeah, I would it sucks. be too. And yeah. that just holds you back more. Yeah, like, that's it. I paid 50, 60 bucks that day. And I, even with the pair explaining to them why I park like that, they're like, nope. Like, you wonder why people are always like, it's so good to see you out, you know? Yeah, and it's yeah. like, well, it's really hard to get out here, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. a lot of us to try, but then we gotta go back home because we're like, yeah. screw this. We're parking. Yeah. <laughs> well, That's yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. Do you, did you have a story, Nanny? Um, I agree with the training because they did my training while, while I was in high school. But once it came to the behind the wheel, they didn't want to help me because they knew nothing about hand controls. So I basically taught myself. Taught myself. So I think there needs to be training. And when I first bought my car about a year ago, um, I remember going to the mall and a guy was behind me. An old guy was behind me, and I pulled him to the disabled spot. And I, I just sat in my sat in my car for a little bit because I think I was on the phone. And he comes on knocking my window. He's like, oh, I was going to park there. Um, get out your dad's car and go park somewhere else. And I was like, what the heck? And so I rolled my window back up, finished my phone call. I was in my car for about 10 minutes. This guy literally, <laughs> like, parks around the corner from where I am and, and sits in front of my car. And so I'm like, all right, here we go. So I open the door, and I just start taking my wood trail. And he's looking, like, looking under my door, looking over. And uh, he, he puts his glasses down, and he's like this. And I get out, and then I, I remember closing it, locking my car, jumping the curb, and hopping the other curb, and he's looking at me like... Which is more inaccessibility. Yeah. Jumping was, curbs, doing whatever you gotta do. Yeah, and he, he didn't see, he seen me in the mall, and he tried to apologize, <laughs> and I was just like... Hmm. See, that's the part, though, it's, it's hard, and we always have to be stronger, mm -hmm. and, like, that's this life, you know? It's always about, like, finding that inner strength. But like when he tries to apologize, like we have to, for we gotta, you know, give chances and like help. Cause I really think that's the biggest problem. Like I learned early on in my injury that even cause I was, I grew up able-bodied. So I did think that people in wheelchairs were sad or, or just not, I never really thought they were angry, but that's like one of the stereotypes is like, you know, they're just bitter. And yeah, so bitter. I mm -hmm. know that when I'm having a hard day, like I need to smile and say, thank you, you know, and be positive when, you know, they open the door for you or they do this and that because if I'm like, just keep my face straight, it just keeps that distance between able-bodied and disabled and there's no connection. Like, they're so weird around us. They're just, they act like we're different, like, creatures. But yeah. it's because the communication has sucked, you know? Like, yeah. the education hasn't been there. They don't know about all of this stuff. Well, there's a, there's schools that we go to, right, Manny? There's schools and colleges that we go to. Like, we go uh, do a presentation every year to a college and they have a... Uh, they have a, a disability awareness mm -hmm. month, mm -hmm. and the whole month, it's they, they, yeah, they talk about wheelchair. Like they, they, um, they uh, talk to our, they talk to the students about it, so they know about wheelchairs. Because if you think about it, there's always one family that there's somebody on a wheelchair, and probably mm -hmm. every family. Well, disability whether it's, can uh, happen whether, to anyone. Yeah, and, and as I'm saying, and it could be from like you know mentally or physically, whatever it is. But mm -hmm. there's always somebody on a wheelchair. So we gone to schools where they have. Uh, disability awareness week disability awareness mm -hmm. month so that's pretty cool you know what i mean yeah. so they can people can find out how, yeah. it, how how disability works these days you know what i mean like how 
how you're supposed to open the door. But there's stuff like stuff like that. I think like going deeper is what's really important is like sharing these vulnerable like about pressure sores and about yeah. about depression and about mm -hmm. how hard things can already be and that stuff is what makes people connect to it like okay yeah a person's wheelchair is like this and we need it to be accessible they don't get it they don't they have no idea yeah. but we can't expect them to so like i don't know danny do you have any uh i don't the same stuff and i think well you had an opinion about the video you no, were kind yeah. of like well i mean I, I feel like the common thing here is old people against young people oh, yeah, in wheelchairs yeah. like because <laughs> i in my story yeah it's, it's usually old people sitting behind you thinking you don't need the spot i drive a mustang so it's really bad for me i get it up a lot mm -hmm. and um so i think yeah the whole having levels like maybe ha uh, older people that you know have maybe something wrong with their knees or whatever hips maybe have have their own spots like uh so they don't have because they don't really need the space the wheelchair space mm -hmm. the extra yeah. lane yeah they just can't push long yeah they just or can't or walk long, is more of a distance long. thing so they should have like their own little spots so uh, you know prevent this issue because i think that it's, it's, it's easier, on, easier it on everybody it's easier on everybody every, yeah. like everyone always wants that you know that, yeah. those spots up front like like jake uh, like jaime said we like me yeah i don't i don't need for it to be right in front of the store like it could be you further up yeah like yeah, we could push more we could push yeah, yeah like, yeah, like just it. offer us some back there just you know like we'll yeah, take it like here and there because you never know the situation like even if i'm going to the store for a soda yeah. Yeah. or a water i don't really need the front one i think that's I the, the thing i think one. there should be a hierarchy of, of of those spots like like pregnant women older people who can't walk people with Mm -hmm. You know, like there should be levels of this because yes. they just they give everyone a blue pack and they say you're good, yeah. to, yeah. go. good to go. And you know, and then like every like society likes to put you in a box in categories. So like they have this like image of what you're supposed to look like, you're supposed to look like that sign, right? Yeah. So then when you don't look like that sign, you know, do this fucking mm -hmm. being pushed. <laughs> you know, yeah. like then they like you know they have this misconception. Yeah, but that would be nice if you they, don't need that spot. You know, that would be nice if they do that. Though. Everybody, like at all levels that we're talking about, they all kind of need the spot in some sense. Mm -hmm. Some people need it more, so they should have some like I would say like tiers, three tiers. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. you could put that last tier like maybe in the middle of the lot, so people aren't fighting for those spots. Well, yeah. I kind of just like, well, for one, it's awesome that they made the placard so that we look like we're pushing. I think that might help people a little bit realize little that maybe bit. they can push themselves. Like, <laughs> but also- Maybe you should put hair on there, like win. I think that's a yeah. good idea because it's more active. It stopped, it, 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 it will stop uh, <laughs> the hat these younger younger kids dynamic. from taking, taking it when they don't need it. Well, and like, just like we expect like able-bodied people to be held accountable mm -hmm. and do the right thing. I and mean, we just need to hold ourselves accountable and like after Danny had his points, like he said something on the Facebook post and then people were like firing back at him and, and, um, and you know, the guy had, the way he approached it was that was the problem. It's not okay to harass someone and, yeah, I, I, um, I don't agree with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think maybe, you know, instead of like trying to make more rules and different things, like, like, I don't think they've ever thought that putting a accessible spot in the back of the parking lot was even like, a, a like, why would they do that? It has to be at the front. So like, that's a good point. Like if they're all taken and someone is capable of parking back there, like we would love to have the opportunity, you know? And if you, I, I believe like if you went up to somebody like and approached them the right way and be like, hey, I have a kid or I have a van, like I see you're like getting out right here. Could I get this spot, you know? And like, if you approach them the right way and like explain your situation, most people will move to mm -hmm. another spot. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's all about your approach. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that guy came, exactly. he came at you sideways right away. You know what I mean? Like, if you would have came at a different approach, like, ask, oh, like, oh, like, you know, ask a question maybe yeah. versus, like, yeah. being sarcastic. Oh, he asked one. Well, it was a sarcastic <laughs> way. It was a sarcastic, yeah. Yeah, it was a, like, a yeah, and then sarcastic like, amazing, way of asking amazing. it. Amazing. Well, you have a question, like, but it's not, not really amazing. a question. It's, yeah. it's literally just. Like, he was going to answer that question for you. That's how he said it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, and, and then, and then when it goes on. He wasn't really on. looking for your answer until you started, like, being cordial and, like, telling him, like, yo, this is my situation. Yeah, exactly. So. I think like I, I honestly it's I love I love like when I hear all the stories and like 
because it's like I think we came up with some really awesome ideas like driver's ed like having that be a part of the education like literally it just needs you know have it all laid out that's good and then parking spots like you can have accessible ones at the back of the parking lot and like these guys will take it you know like they need it so offer it and then hold ourselves accountable and for me I got to do that better although like one thing is I always try to be like why do I need this spot but I learned over time, you know, like the situation I needed it to have my piggyback ride and then all the other stuff. But what was I saying with that one? Um, but yeah, just hold ourselves accountable. And oh, yeah, cars. Like if I park back there and I'm in a wheelchair, I also do kind of like it's kind of sketchy when they can't see you. Like that is one thing I, I think about, but it doesn't mean that I can't do it. You know, maybe better like pathways for walking would work out and then we don't need it. Um, but then what were there any other, oh, parking over the lines and having your placard up because you can't find a spot, like don't freaking find them. And if, if, if you do, and they come to court cause they're going to fight it cause everything else is a struggle enough. Like, why would you not approve that? And if you're going to scratch somebody's car, just make sure that they don't have a handicap flag or a <laughs> plate. You can just scratch it. Yeah. <laughs> that guy would have scratched your car, man. You know, yeah. Some people get so angry and so loud when they like, bought a parking spot. They would literally key your car. Yeah. Like, oh, this jerk did this. Well, yeah. I'm going to be a jerk more and scratch his car, which is uncalled for. But I feel like it's just so much like just, underlying anger you know, that people are just. You're going to be that guy. Out. Check the plates. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's. <laughs> People have bad days, like you yeah. know. Like, you gotta just quit taking it out on others and start learning. Yeah, yeah. Like right, right now when you mentioned um, uh, we need that space, like the mm -hmm. art space. Mm -hmm. it's, like I said, it's not the we could push probably pretty far to get to the store, or whatever. But it's the spacing that we need because sometimes I park in the handicap right, and the line is right next to me, mm -hmm. right like this. So I park more this way so I can have more room. Mm -hmm. So I have a whole bunch of room, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the person that parks next to me parks over the line you understand me now yeah because there's more space so they feel yeah. like they, can take they don't that need to worry about space. parking in there yeah so they, they they're like oh look at all the space this guy left me in this the is driver's issue. and, the, and, and it's and it's from <laughs> and it, the space is literally it's like from here to the wall the space where i yeah. left it with both both parkings yeah and he'll park because he thinks oh look at all the space he'll park in the line over the line you know what and i, I can't get in then like and I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Allowing you they to park like, so they over park the, on the lines, line. like yeah. he said. And I'm like, what the Manny, fuck? Manny, I honestly think, like, if they allowed you to park over the lines like that, they don't have to offer as many disabled spots because who, why, why would someone want so badly to park over the lines for the hell of it, you know? Like, yeah. so yeah. If then I think it's going to be people who need it. They'll do that, put your pocket up. Like, yeah. then they don't have to have it always, like, for these people. Yeah, yeah like, that's what I said. We need that spacing. That We need that that's spacing. Does anyone want to, like, demonstrate, it's happened to me, demonstrate putting your wheelchair in the car? It, it, like, it, it, it's it's, right it's, right it's happened well, to me several times. I'm actually, like, my shoulder hurts, so I don't want to really do See, more transfers thing. than I have to right now, because I'm okay. trying to see myself for national. Danny, do you want to do it? One of these guys can. Yeah, You're right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, we're going to show, Danny. Is there anything else you guys want to say? No, that's, no. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks Thank for sharing, guys. Thank you for this interview. Oh, yeah. and then uh, maybe you just like say your name so they can, you know, follow you guys because you're so cool. This is Danny, and he plays on the Wolfpack. Yeah. Uh, my name is Manny, and I play for Silverback, and I'm not really on a wheelchair. I can walk. He's lying. Yeah. <laughs> show your language. <laughs> and that's Manny also. All right. I'm just playing. We're going to go show you how he gets in the car. Hope you guys learned something. Right? I like how it's like the beefiest tires too, so it really shows. <laughs> Not like this direction.
Oh, and then the Thank hand you. controls. So, they're just like attached to the brake and the gas. The gas and, yeah. and then what, how do you like hold the steering wheel and do that? And then you just switch really fast. Yeah, I mean, my hand yeah. doesn't have to go too far. <laughs> they're big enough to... Huh, so you push it for the gas? Yeah. And then you, oh, and you push it for the brake too. Because uh, Carly had one where you, it's on the steering wheel and you, it's just like you pull it and you push oh, yeah. it. And the is like that. I like that. It's smooth. They're like five grand. Yeah. <laughs> how, much are, <laughs> how much are these? Uh, 200, 300. Nice. Where'd you get them? Amazon? No. It was like a medical supplies. Place. What are these ones called? Because, like, if the ones on the steering wheel are called something. I got no clue to be honest. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> we have to put this wheel back in there. No, we don't. Okay. I'm going to take another one out. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> you wanna see Wait, it? Manny, I'm going to get you next. Get you in your car? Yeah. Well, we're getting you in the truck, Manny. <laughs> Why? Is it going to be more of a struggle? No. Is your car cooler? Uh, yeah, it, it's gold. No, my, my truck is on the car. I'll fast forward this video. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I think this truck really shows how, like, just, I don't really know, but it shows something. <laughs> <laughs> any car is capable of getting into. Yes, and any car can hold a person with a disability inside I almost just like went to help you <laughs> I thought the chair was like falling but obviously you know what you're doing we need um we need watches that tell us how many times we take our chair in and out of the car oh a lot you know like Fitbit yeah it should like be or able to track many, that. Or, or don't or I've always wanted the ones where it tells you how many times you pushed or touched. Yeah, but they're never accurate if you no. try and use a running no. one. No. I want them to add the yeah. wheelchair take apart uh. lift. And then you have the hand controls that you push and pull, right? Yeah. So when you push it it's the gas? So when you push it it's the brake and then when you push down it's the gas. Uh where'd you get those? Uh I got these, woo. Um, this was probably about 10, 18 years ago at Mobility. Mobility. Like a, it's an in-person store or? Yeah, it's in, uh, it's a, it's a wheelchair store, oh, in-person store in Rosemont, I think. Mm -hmm. But I think for when I, when I get ready to put the, my, my new ones on, I think I'm going to go to the one in Poway. Mm. There's one in power that somebody told me about. So. Oh, and they put them on for you? Mm -hmm. Um, how much are they? Ooh, they're expensive. We get, so, these ones, uh, were about 1200 but they have a rule saying that if they keep your car more than six hours, they charge you $100 by the hour. So they kept my car for, they kept my car for eight hours. Oh my gosh. And then, um, I wanted them to put these onto my new car, but they wanted to charge 2400 and I was like, that's just doing Dang. too much. So now I found another place that I got uh, rec um, sent to, and they said it's like between twelve hundred to fourteen hundred. Dang! And insurance them. does his insurance cover that? No. What? So just to have them installed. Oh my gosh! That's ridiculous. I yeah. Feel like we get a, oh, I feel like we get overcharged a lot. Yeah. There's maybe. 
There should be a foundation out there that gives grants for putting. They for, there might be. Even like even like for um, uh, like a lift to take my wheelchair to the back since I have a truck. That's super expensive too. Like between five to seven thousand dollars. And yeah. some of us, um, it's just like. And it would be way better for your shoulders. Yeah, exactly. It won't go out. Yeah. So that's why this is like my. I don't use this car like as a, every day anymore because I had some shoulder problems starting. That's why I got a new car. But yeah. Nice. Well, thank you for yeah. letting me record you. No worries. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, Manny. I've learned this is my third one. Yeah. Let me pull my pants up. <laughs> Everybody knows why. Is that, is there like a joke that goes with it? Yeah, it's, you know, every time you transfer, it's a uh, butt crack. <laughs> For class ones or all classes? All classes, I think. It depends, I think. <laughs> See, I put both feet first. I make sure they're ahead of me, and then I just transfer to the side. And that's it. Nice. That was smooth. Yeah. And then you have your basketball chair in the passenger yeah, seat. Yeah, that's my basketball chair. And then I just uh, get my backpack, and then... Do you use the wheels from your everyday chair uh, for your basketball no, chair? No, my, my, I, I got separate ones. When I get a flat, I do. <laughs> that's um, my backup on my flat, but... When they're both good, I I, I have a I have a, a a pair for both every chair. Do you do you get them the same size wheels for that yeah, reason? There's the same same size wheels exactly for that. Just for yeah, that. that was your cho decision making. Yeah, that was my decision making. Just just yeah. I know. I wish I would have known that trick. Yeah, it would have saved me a lot of carrying of extra wheels. The, on top of that, even the tubing. You know the tubing. Sometimes the, the, there's a different tube. You're like, oh, this is a different tube and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Different tires. So if you get the same, you don't struggle with it. You can use it as backup. And then... And it's a Honda, so I can fit both chairs in here. I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah. Nice. And then what hand controls do you have? I have the... I have the, the these are portable. These are called portable. Oh. These are these are called portable. These hand controls. See that? Where um, do you have these? Oh this? no, Danny has ones that are kind of like those, but he has two. These are from uh, these are from uh, Colors. Oh cool. Uh, the, the the brand Colors. How much are those? Uh, these are uh, you can order order them online, and they're uh, online. They're around three hundred bucks. Titanium, mm -hmm. and this right here is from a a, a bicycle hand hand bar. Oh, right you put it on there? I put it on there. That's smart. Yeah, that's that's a bicycle bicycle brand. You see that? Was it hard to find the right size? Mongoose, like mongoose. What? How was it hard to find the right size? No, I, I just happened to go to the bicycle shop, and they had told me that about that already. And I went to the bicycle shop, and then I told the guy, and he goes, "Yeah, I, I'll do it." And he went, and he said it's hard rubber. Mm -hmm. He put a uh, hairspray. Uh -huh. He put hairspray because I came out and I couldn't put it on. And I uh, struggled for it, like 20 minutes. Uh, and I'm like, I can't. I freaking can't. And then he, he goes, I got you. Like, he knew already. He got you. He thought, let me get uh, that. Ah, he knew the trick. He got the, yeah, he does it to the, to the, you know, he does it to the handlebars and the bikes. Oh, so you put hairspray on it and it yeah, slides on? He, yeah, exactly. Seems like hairspray would be stickier. Yeah, he put, he came. He thought, let me get my hairspray. I kid you not. He put the hairspray outside and then inside a couple sprays. And he just went, blue. Uh, and then after that, I, I, I do it myself. Already, nice. Like this thing. I got to go. The little tricks. Bye, bye Thank bye. you. Bye, Megan. No problem. Oh, and also, wait. Uh, do you push it for the gas? Well, that? You push yeah. it, and that's yeah, the got, gas? Got a, this is a little button. You got to watch out, because sometimes in like the heat, not right now, but when it's uh, 90 or up, and you're in the car there for a while, mm -hmm. this thing gets really, really hot. Because mm. it's titanium. Uh, so sometimes I try to have like a like a little towel or something. You don't want to put rubber on that? Yeah. No, no, no. Well, you can, really. But mm -hmm. you gotta put, I put a little towel, like a towel, because uh -huh. these heat up and they're really What hot. if you put those felt pads that go on the bottom of tables, those little round ones that you get at Home oh, Depot? Oh, I know what you mean. You can just stick it on there. Oh, maybe like that. Yeah, maybe. that'd be right. cool. Okay, I gotta go. It was go so good hanging out. No problem, same here. Okay, have a good day. Nice hanging out. Tell so, Alga say hi. I will. Take care of me. Have a good weekend, all right? You too. How long you I'm not sure. Let me know. Okay. Right, Bye.